Hi. Hi. Cameras are rolling. Oh, the... Well, they aren't rolling. They're right. recording. Boy, recording. that okay. dates me right. Today we're having a treat. It is a tiny deck concert, an interview with Ron Workhauser. Uh, Ron and I live in the same pro on the same property, so um, and I am a very safe, uh, more than six feet away. The tripods are set up, and we're going to just do a little Q and A, some playing, and some more Q and A, and some more playing. Okay. How you doing today? I'm doing. You doing all right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So Ron, the other day I was walking by because we all like to take some exercise in the afternoon and you're out on your screened in porch and you were reading a book and I yelled over, what are you reading? And you said you were studying. Mm -hmm. yeah. I said, what are you studying? Why don't you talk about that? Because I think it's interesting. Music. Either uh, my uh, time is uh, I'll play some instruments and then uh, one day I'll read uh, like music history, music terminology study my jazz, classical studies, well, that goes with the playing, but uh, yeah, biography of uh, famous composers, what to do for the sonata, and oratorio, and cantata, and all that stuff. Cool. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty deep stuff. Uh, from the 15th, 16th century, they had a lot of different uh, ways of playing, different tunes. The suite came about in the 1600s. Kind of neat, like a suite is a small uh, symphony, uh, four or five movements, but all based on dances in the 14th, 15th, 16th century. Different tempos to each one of them, so it's a, it's a small symphony, where a symphony is, you know, 110 musicians. A suite usually has a lot less. <laughs> Great. I'm going to ask you to speak up because the cameras are quite far from you, oh, and yeah. they're built-in microphones. Okay. So. Um, <clears throat> Don't look down when you talk. Oh. <laughs> That's a habit of mine. Yeah, well, got to speak up for us. Oh, yeah. um, the question I had for you the other day blew my mind. I asked you how many in instruments do you play? About 25. 25? Yeah, some better than others, because uh, some I don't have right now, uh, so I don't have the time on the instrument, which is the most important thing studying music. You have all the books and videos and teachers. Time on the instrument is the most important thing. If you don't spend time on the instrument, you're not going to get anywhere. You know, you probably, oh, I practiced my half hour today. No, you got to practice one or two or more. Uh, some of the great jazz musicians uh, practice eight, ten hours a day. That's how they, that's how they got to be where they are. I mean, you know your instrument inside now. That's what it takes time on the instrument. And tell me about the banjo that you're holding. That wasn't your first instrument. I think you told me yesterday no. your first instrument was piano? No. Well, yeah, I banged on a piano. I was eight and nine years old. Kind of get the feel for it. And then I found an old book, piano book, so I was teaching myself <laughs> that. But it wasn't, actual music lessons wasn't until I, I got an elementary band. I played alto saxophone. That was my first legit instrument. Elementary band, and then a couple years later, or a year later, my grandmother got me a guitar, and, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I fell in love with that, and uh, yeah, I played guitar since then, about 60 years, I guess. That's my main instrument. That's what I practice most, play most. Uh, the others, uh, you know, I, when I get them, I will play them. Well, let's hear a little banjo. <laughs> Thank you. 
I just asked Ron how you want how he wanted to do this, and well, we're just going to switch up some instruments, and then we can go back to uh, playing some more because we have about a half an hour to fill. And okay. uh, so you're on uh, a clarinet. Yep, B flat clarinet. B flat clarinet. Why did I say that? Because there's ten sizes of clarinets. There are ten different sizes of clarinets. Wow. A lot of people don't know that. Mm -hmm. And there's ten saxophones. And even uh, bassoon and flute have ten different. The bass, the big bass flute, is it looks like a uh, a plumbing uh, nightmare. <laughs> it sets on the floor, goes up at an angle, comes over this way, and that's where the mouthpiece is. But the mouthpiece is about the size of a cucumber. But, uh, I've never seen uh, one actually, let alone play one. But uh, the bigger the tube, the more air you got to put in. So. That's why the sax, I play alto, tenor, and soprano. Soprano is a smaller one. But it gets to the baritone, uh, it takes more wind, and I'm old and I smoke, so I really don't have the wind to play the baritone. Even this is a little difficult. Uh, they don't play it that often. Shame on me. But you no, know, like I said, the guitar is my main instrument, so. But uh, studying all the instruments and learning how they play. Uh, helps me when I arrange a, a tune for an orchestra, uh, a dance band, uh, write all the parts, so it helps to know how to play. Because if you write something, uh, especially for a trombone is the biggest example, uh, you don't want the trombone player to play these two notes, you know, he don't want him from one to seven position, you know, you don't want him to do that. So you transpose it to another key, so maybe he goes three to four or around the horn, so, yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it's related to the saxophone. Woodman family. Woodman, yeah. Yeah, Woodman. All right, knock our socks off. Let me see if I can. <laughs> <laughs> People call it the fiddle, <laughs> but it depends on what music you play. Usually, people associate with that. If you're playing a symphony orchestra, you're playing a violin. If you're playing bluegrass and country, you're playing a fiddle. But it's the same instrument because the fiddle was an instrument that predated the violin by a couple hundred years. It's carved out of a solid block of wood, ornately decorated because it was during the Baroque period where all the thing, architecture and all that stuff was. Not gypsy like I shouldn't say, but it's just ornately done over the top. And uh, then the sound box is uh, glued on the top, had three strings cat gut or lamb gut were the strings, three strings.
Spanish piece. So Ron comes to the Leesburg Center for the Arts on third Wednesdays. We have an event called Art Share. And we have our open stage, open mic, open screen. So it's expanded beyond a open mic because it has the eight foot projection screen. We invite visual artists to show uh, their PowerPoint or, or their photography or whatever it be. And Ron's done that several months. And he was also, because of that connection, because the Leesburg Center for the Arts is all about making connections and supporting the artists, Ron was to play our uh, concert crawl during the 43rd annual Leesburg Center for the Arts uh, Art Fest uh, that has been postponed to the fall. But um, I'm just considering us really lucky to be able to have you in such close proximity to my cameras. <laughs> <laughs> now I notice is that, are you uh, with steel strings or nylon strings? No, this is a classical guitar. Yes. With no cord, I don't have to worry about any cord, no amplifier, no picks, no pedals, just my hands. And you play jazz guitar. Yeah, that's my forte. But I always love the classical too, Segovia. Yeah. Do you know it's International Guitar Month? Is it? No, I didn't know. April is International Guitar Month. Oh. And every, every night, except for the weekends, Monday through Friday at 7 o'clock, I post a Facebook post. So this month, I am posting the great guitar players. So I have five weeks worth. And the first one was Segovia. And I'll have everybody there from Hendrix to Prince mm -hmm. to um, Paco de Lucia and Al Di Miola. So um, if you're on Facebook and you happen to be there around seven o'clock, you'll, and I'll take some suggestions yeah. for next International Guitar Month. Joe Pass. Joe Pass. Ooh, oh, monster player, monster player. Can we play another one or? Yes. Okay. Uh, you want to hear this one? Mm This is our first tiny desk, uh, no, excuse me, tiny deck concert. I'm going to let just Ron play and then we'll fade right on out. So whatever you'd like to do. And I wanna really, really want to thank you. For, and thank you for not only allowing me to, to video record you, but mm -hmm. for all that you do for the Center for the Arts, coming and support Art Share. Mm -hmm. Art Share it has gone virtual during this COVID-19. So we'll be uh, still on the third Wednesday night uh, at 6.30. I'll be on that Facebook group page and mm -hmm. I will be putting up anything that is a Facebook video that I can grab and nab and create a watch party. So okay. um, you'll, part of this will be on that. So okay. you go. Mm -hmm.
Yes, thank you. Anada.